right on time to bring in a political process that creates synthesis, that is a party that everybody's invited to, where perspectives are heard and respected, and we can move to an appreciation of our diverse humanity. We can try to raise funds, we can try to create nonprofits, but the level of change necessary requires government size budgets and government size power. And that is why I'm here, that is why I'm taking a stand, and it is time. What I want to stand for is new leadership of all different colors. I want leadership that is in integrity and that is authentic and that is talking from the heart. I want leadership that can resonate with the younger people. And I want leadership that reflects who America is today. This party is gonna give voice to people that haven't had voice. I see within this party, man and woman leading side by side. Part of all of our job here is to create a sacred union, men and women working together and being able to stand side by side to rebirth something. I would really like to see us return to a nation that understood the value and the need for both. I am a member of One Nation and honored to be so. The leadership of this organization and this party is of the highest integrity and I'm honored to to step into alignment with this this new family that we have forming here. I believe that it's the voices of the people that matter most and that's what I hear is being presenced and coming forward. It's that we are going to stand together and we're going to speak our voices together in union and that is going to make the change that needs to happen on the planet. When my nieces and nephews and their sons and daughters ask me what I did when the world was on fire. I want to say I did this. And because it's going to be really fun. I want to be a fucking warrior. I've wanted to change the system for the last 50 years. I'm giving you everything I have to make that happen. I believe we are here and sent here by our souls to make this change happen. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> you are the evolved 60s generation that has the same passion and desire to fix the world that you do. But you're a lot smarter and you've learned a heck of a lot more since then. I'm very excited to be here. I'm very excited to align my political will with this party, this movement, with this intention. Coming from a lineage of fire, police, and military, that heart, that warrior spirit that I know is in me and is in all of us. I'm offering that and to bring the essence of those systems that are designed from that place, the coordination, the ability, the agility, the, the flexibility and the precision, that's what I'm taking a stand for. If you actually do your homework and you actually look at what's happening on this planet, you would be like me. You wouldn't vote because the system itself is flawed. And so I'm here today because I believe in this group of people who are starting the dialogue that has been missing from our political system for a very, very long time. It's only through the process of synthesizing multiple perspectives that we will be able to solve the complexity of the issues that we're facing today. And One Nation is a process instead of an ideology. And that has me very hopeful. I've never felt more hopeful than I do in this group. I've had enough of children killing themselves, of wasted resources, of the war, of the fighting. I believe that deep in the hearts of all of us that we share a collective vision for peace. Now is the time. What we have all come here to do is ready to happen and we are ready to make it happen. I stand here to ground that vision that we all have and to do it with precision and integrity. I'm all in. I'm not just this one white woman standing here. I think we've been everything, and I think we will be everything. And what moves me so deeply about One Nation is it's time to remember that there is no other. There's no other out there. And I've found the, the leadership and the ideas and the methods with which this is being introduced to be... Um, so hopeful. I am a member of One Nation because I am so all in for all life. And I've never come across anything I've felt such a strong pull to serve more than this. We joined One Nation because, well, that's all there is. 
<laughs> what else is there to join? One nation, one humanity, one people under God. And what you're choosing is literally the unspoken prayer of the entire human race. And what you're restoring, and what you're choosing, and what you're creating here, and I mean all of you. And as you succeed, and you will, and this will grow as a movement, this will spread all over the world, uniting humanity because of your love of the diversity. One day our children will grow never knowing the, the story of separation, n never knowing the, the trials that you went through to create this. They will know peace and harmony with each other. So I give you great thanks.